am I recording? Are you able to answer if I'm recording or not? Even though this is recorded in the past and you're gonna see this in the future, you don't know it's in the future It's because it's in your present. Anyways, I need to stop doing that shit, man. All right, what's up my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another motherfucking mukbang. Um, today, what we're doing is a mukbang, gang bang, finger bang, do your thing. Um, I went to a boil local and <clears throat> I asked for a crunch wrap supreme and they said we don't have that but we got over stuffed quesadillas so I said okay um, what's the cheapest one you have and they said we got a deal it's five dollars for a nacho um, overstuffed quesadilla I was like why is it overstuffed did you have the whole crew like stuff it and shit you guys on some perverted shit they said nah it's just a lot of fucking food in there I was like shit well if you got a grocery store up in that motherfucking quesadilla then let's go ahead and get it done I like Opoyo Loco, I'm not sure if you do. Um, before you click off the video, I also gotta let you know about the time that I 69'd, I mean, fuck, the time that I got pepper sprayed by 169 different cops, what I did to deserve that, um, you know, how it went down and all that shit. We'll go ahead and get into that, but let me go ahead and show you the product, homie. You know, you gotta see before you buy it, right? All right, so, Opoyo Loco, as you can see, El Pollo Loco, all right, anyway, go ahead and break out the fucking quesadilla. Based on weight alone, homie, I'd fuck. I'd fucking uh, eat it. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a very weighty um, motherfucking quesadilla. I know that's a white word, you know what I'm saying? Weighty, but uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is. <clears throat> also, I got the fucking um, Hamica on deck. Uh, it's actually vitamin water, homie. I just didn't want you to look down on me and shit. You know, looking like a preppy and shit. All right, homie. Let's go ahead and, um, we can't get it nice and bloody because I'm out and about, but we're going to go ahead and get intimately involved with this guess idea real quick or crunch wrap, whatever. All right. Got them classic Apoyo local fucking flavors going on. Check that out, homie. Don't look at me. So you got the fucking, um, I think you got beans. Rice, chips, fucking chicken, queso fresco, um, fucking <clears throat> jalapeno. But I'm gonna go ahead and discharge it. I got the fucking um, avocado salsa on deck. So we'll go ahead and do that too. Add a little discharge to this motherfucker. All right. Hell yeah, homie. Mmm. It has to look like it needs to go to Planned Parenthood before you can really dig in, homie. Check that out. Oh, hell yeah. Go ahead and take a bite of that motherfucker. You gotta slurp while you bite it so it don't drip all over the place. Pause. Alright. Mmm. Definitely good so far, homie. It's like if a crunch wrap supreme actually was Mexican food. El Pollo Loco did a good job with this shit, homie. All right, there's a couple other ones I wanted to try. If you guys want me to try another one on the video, I'll do it. One's called the Spicy Serrano. I want to fucking try that, homie. And then we also got the fucking, um, it's like double chicken or some shit like that. Mm. All right. Let me go ahead and tell you about the time that I got pepper sprayed by 169 different cops. So back in 2014, I was out of work. You know what I mean? Construction season was out. A lot of foreclosures on houses and shit. And then also it was winter time. So I didn't really have work. So I was trying to, you know, do fucking side jobs and different assignments like that and shit. Mmm. No fucking um I came across this ad in the newspaper, homie. Yes, I was still reading the newspaper in 2014. I don't know if the newspaper doesn't exist in your area anymore. Uh let me know in the comments below if you live in an area that doesn't deliver newspapers anymore that used to. I am um, if you're young you probably are like what the fuck is a newspaper, bro? 
So anyways, I was reading the newspaper, looking in the classifieds. And I saw that dropped a bean. I saw that <clears throat> they were looking for volunteers. The police office. I'm sorry, the police the police department. The police department was looking for volunteers to fuck to fucking try an experiment. So it just said police department looking for volunteers. You will be paid. So I guess there's such thing as paid volunteers because you're volunteering to do something other people wouldn't want to do, but you can still get paid. So I was like, fuck. I hit him up. First thing I asked him. <clears throat> what if you have a criminal record? They're like, actually, we encourage people who have criminal records to apply. We accept anybody. I was like, all right. They're like, but the only thing is you got to sign a waiver because we're not going to tell you what the actual job or experiment entails. You just got to sign up for it and be ready to do it. And if you don't, you can actually be breaking the law if you don't follow through. But we're not going to tell you exactly what it is until the day that it happens. So I was, you know, in a pinch. I needed some money. I was tired of selling drugs and shit. I was like, fuck it, you know, let me go ahead and try this shit. So I signed up, signed the waiver. Mm. Discharge and shit, homie. And they set it up. They're like, all right, it's going to be on December 10th. <clears throat> come through. Well, they didn't say come through. They're like, come by. And um, we'll give you all the details. That'll be the day. <clears throat> they said make sure to eat plenty the day before. And make sure that you're hydrated. So to be honest, I had no fucking clue what was going on, homie. I might be hydrated. Eat plenty? What the fuck are you talking about, homie? What the fuck could it be? Are they like gonna, you know... Make me fucking run from dogs and see if I can get away from their dogs or what the fuck is gonna happen, you know what I mean? Um, so I had no clue, bro. So I went in, got there. There was only like three other bottles, bro. So there's only four of us that they picked. Um, I was actually paid quite a bit of money. I was paid six thousand seven hundred or fifty six dollars for this experiment. But I couldn't cash the check until we completed the assignment that day. So, we went, the four of us, they put us in a room, all right, we'll be right back. The chief came out, talked to us, commissioner came out, and just let us know the details. And they're like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're testing out new pepper sprays. We wanted to test out the strength on them. Oh, by the way, all the guys that got, all the bottles that got in were big guys like me. Big guys that ate plenty the day before, they were hydrated because they want to be able to test this. Apparently, the pepper sprays they had been using weren't taking motherfuckers down or working appropriately. I'm just glad they weren't testing out tasers on us. Six thousand fucking dollars, you know, I'm good with it. So, anyways, I'm like, fuck. <clears throat> Let's do it, bro. I love jalapenos, you know, I love serranos, I love fucking habaneros. Well, fucking spicy pussy, everything, bro. Like, if it's spicy, I love it. You know, tapatio. So, pepper spray me all you want, bro. I grew up in a Mexican household. My mom was always cooking up some of the fucking roasted peppers and shit. So, anyway, it's just bomb, bro. How you recommend this? A boy a local, if you're watching this, gracias. Gracias. All right. So, they actually gave us the option. Because before they said, 
you have to follow through with it or you'll have a legal, it'll be illegal or, you know, maybe against the law if you don't follow through. And they actually get an option. If anybody wants to leave, that's cool. You know, just sign it, sign your way out. It's all good. We can afford to lose at least one person. One Vato left. He became a little bitch. He left. Mm. So. I stood. They're like, alright, we're going to get this started. They called us out. We all had to go to different areas. And they're like, okay, this is what we're going to do. So the area they took us in, it had like a couple of shower heads. They're available. You pre pretty much just press. The, um, they had like a thing on the wall that you press and the water comes out right away. So like you just press that if you need to wash your eyes out. But look, try to take as much pepper spray as you can. Um, each officer is only allowed to pepper spray you once. They had the whole fucking like area there, bro. I thought it was just for Stockton, you know what I'm saying? They had like Lodi, fucking Tracy, all the cops in the area around there. And uh, I think they said there was about 170 cops total. So the thing was, the cops gonna pepper spray you. Once you run to the shower, that means that you can't take anymore. So long story short, one by one, they start pepper spraying me. So me, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't until about the 30th where I was like, okay, what the fuck am I doing, bro? I hope I don't go blind, bro. This is kind of crazy. You know, hella tears coming out, snot coming out and shit, bro. But I was like, bro, I'm a fucking G. I can't go out like a little bitch, especially in front of these cops on me. So they kept going and going, you know, 40th and the 50th, bro. Just fucking spraying me. I'm just like, oh, fuck, bro. I got this. I got this on me. Fucking 169 different cops, bro. Had one left, and I fucking bitched out, bro. I just couldn't take it when we got to that 169th on me. I was just like, no more homes. Fucking press that shit. Fucking wash my eyes out. Fucking like 30 minutes straight, bro. And that didn't even relieve anything, homie. Fucking, when I left there, bro, I stopped at the store, got some milk, and poured a gallon of milk on my eyeballs, bro. Like, that shit was fucking crazy, homie. Was it worth it? I mean, do you want $6,000 plus dollars on me? I mean, shit, do what you got to do, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I went ahead and did that. That's my story at the time.